Good morning, everybody. So Mrs. Rivera here, principal of Joseph Case Junior High School with backyard enrichment video number 35. Uh, we might need to change the name of the video today because we're not in my backyard. We are in my front yard. Uh, so there's a chance a car might go by or who knows what might happen. Um, but we're going to film from the front yard today. Look at something quite interesting. So um, yesterday had a meeting with the leadership team and a uh, shout out of appreciation today will go to an important member of that leadership team. That's uh, Mr. Rockcliffe. Mr. Rockcliffe is a special education teacher. He works with a small group of students uh, to help them be successful at Joseph Case Junior High School. He's done a great job with that. Uh, he believes in relationships. In fact, that that's the foundation of what he does is building positive relationships with students so we can help them be successful. Uh, thanks, Mr. Rockcliffe, for all you do for your students and for our school on a daily basis uh, we appreciate you today so today's going to be a pretty nice day yesterday was a nice day you can see it's nice and sunny here today lots of birds chirping things going on um, and today will be a day similar to that a little bit more breezy perhaps um, but sunny and definitely a day that we can get outside yesterday we did some work on the pool deck which is something that we've been doing and we're going to continue to try to get that job done i'll show it to you uh, when it's all complete. After dinner, we played uh, some wiffle ball in the yard. We also had a basketball game, me and Jake and Cole. Uh, get a little after dinner exercise, and we had some fun doing that. Well, this stretch of nice weather uh, lets you get outside a lot. And me and Mrs. Silver were outside in the yard the other day, um, and I was looking at the oak trees, which most of our trees we have around here are oak trees, and I, I noticed something very interesting. And I said, Yep. We're going to figure out a little bit more about that. We are going to get that into a backyard enrichment video because this is something in our neighborhoods that abounds. Oak trees are everywhere, and so everyone's seeing this right now. Um, but do we know what it is? Do we know what the purpose is? That's what we're going to figure out today. Backyard enrichment 35. Let's have a look. This is the northern red oak, Quercus rubris. Northern red oak is widely distributed throughout much of the eastern United States and southeastern Canada. It grows from Quebec, Ontario, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick, southward to southwestern Georgia, Alabama, northern Mississippi, northern Arkansas, eastern Oklahoma, Minnesota, and Iowa, south through eastern Nebraska and Kansas to eastern Oklahoma. It also grows in southwestern Louisiana and western Mississippi. The yellow dangling clusters seen here are catkins, more technically known as aments. This is the same sort of structure we saw on the aspen earlier in the spring. Catkins are clusters of male flowers. Each one of the bumps on the catkin is a male flower consisting of a brack, a highly modified leaf, a lobed calyx, and some pollen producing stamens. You have to look close to see the female flowers, the future acorns. On close inspection, you just see a reddish three lobed stigma the specialized part of the female flower that traps pollen. Below the stigma, there's an egg-shaped ovary. Like other oaks, northern red oak is monoecious, producing male staminate and female pistillate flowers on the same tree. The male flowers are arranged in drooping yellow-green catkins, about two to four inches long. These catkins often occur in groups of three. Male catkins are produced from the axils of last year's leaves towards the tips of twigs. Individual male flowers are less than one-eighth inch across, consisting of several stamens, the male fertilizing organ of the flower, and a calyx, the sepals of the flower. They are partially hidden by hairy brackets. Individual female flowers are produced either individually or in clusters of two to five. Each female flower is about an eighth of an inch across, ovoid in shape, consisting of an ovary with curved stigmas, the portion of the flower that catches pollen. This is surrounded by a form-fitting calyx. Underneath each female flower are several bracklets. The short blooming period occurs from mid-spring to late spring, either shortly before or during the unfolding of the spring leaves. Once the stamens have released their pollen into the air, the entire catkin will fall from the tree. Afterwards, the female flowers are replaced by acorns that take two years to develop. The acorns occur individually or in groups of two to three on short stalks about a quarter inch in length or less. The body of the acorn or the nut is brown to reddish brown and smooth. The meat of the nut is white and bitter. 
Oak is one of the most popular woods used in furniture and flooring in the United States. It has a long history of use around the home, dating back to pre-colonial times, and remains every bit as popular today. One of the reasons why oak can take on so many different looks is that there isn't a single type of oak tree. There are actually more than 60 varieties growing across the United States. Get out in the yard today, take a close look at the male and female flowers of the oak tree. That's it. That's Backyard Enrichment 35. I hope you learned a little bit uh, about something that we're all seeing in our neighborhoods right now. And uh, it is actually very, very interesting. Uh, so get out in the yard today. If you can, take a closer look if you have oak trees and see um, the things that we've talked about today a little bit closer up. You can learn something new every day. That's what the Backyard Enrichment video is all about. Thanks for joining us today. We're all Cardinals. We're all in this together. Have a great day, everybody.